I wanted to build a road trip planner. I had four objectives. I wanted to, it, this road trip planner to generate custom itineraries, which would include Google Maps. I wanted to be able to provide constraints into my planner and to include parameters. And I wanted to use a version of Google Gemini to see uh, what generation I could uh, create using a custom prompt. I decided to use the newly released Gemini Advanced 2.0 Flash Thinking Experimental with Apps because it included reasoning ac across Google Maps as well as YouTube and Search, but Maps for this, this particular test. So I spent some time experimenting with the prompt, and this is what I came up with. My prompt starts with line three, named parameter values, and I just put in a, a trip that I, I might want to take. Basically, I named the parameter values, and notice I didn't, I named them using English. I didn't use like a, a lang programming language constraint. So month, origin, city, and state, destination, city, and state, state to view, and daily drive time and hours. And I tried it as an experiment, so kind of a quasi-programming to see how Gemini would handle it, and it handled it beautifully. So in the stanza starting in line 10, this is the first part of my prompt. So I'm just going to read it out. Plan an itinerary of daily driving routes in a month from origin city state to destination city and state. Work step by step, don't skip steps. Drive time each day should be as close to daily drive time and hours as possible. Verify the estimated drive time for each day using this process described. Initially, I included this write a Python program to compute the actual distance between the route steps using the lat long from the source and destination city as inputs and then verify using the results of the query to the Google Maps API to get the Google Maps drive time between the two cities to ensure the planned route's daily drives fall within the daily drive time constraint of no more than six hours. Oops, looks like I need to put the parameter in there of driving. Once you have completed this task, then move on to the next task. I'm going to experiment downstream with taking the write the Python uh, part out to see uh, if it'll still generate correctly. This was before um, 2.0 Flash was, uh, uh, was released publicly and needed to have a function call. Um, it looks like I'll be able to remove that function call because of the integration. And uh, line 12, uh, once you do the core part of the work, next review your plan itinerary and then consider that daily drives within the time constraint should maximize scenic views and should go through state to view as much as possible while still honoring the drive time constraint. Update your plan and iterate to include this constraint. Generate a daily plan for the driving route given these instructions. Include altitude, scenic highlights, and potential stops. Include valid Google Maps links for each day's route. Verify each link URL. So when I ran this prompt, I was really pleased. Um, so first I'm going to show you the result, and then I'm going to show you the thinking. So inside of my prompt, uh, uh, or query, if you prompt, if you will, um, it took, I don't know, less than three minutes for this to run, but I'll just show you the result. So uh, here Gemini is planning, and it's, you know, correctly substituted all the parameters and restated my requirements here. And then it is making a step-by-step -step plan. Again, I'm showing you the result first, not the thinking. The thinking is really interesting here for this use case and for working with LLMs in general. So step one um, is going to start by finding this route, honoring the time constraint. Uh, then uh, step two is this integration with Google Maps. And it starts with a, an estimated route which is a slightly over, and it knows that it's slightly over the six hours. And then it looks for an alternative uh, that's within the six hours. And then uh, it accepts that as a revision, and then shows the second day's drive, and then the third day's drive. Once it has that, and it has the Google Maps links, then it performs the second part of the prompt, which is maximizing the scenic views. And then it generates the itinerary. So here's the drive time. And then if I click on the maps link, we have the integration. You can see that the time results match. So it 
through the integration, it, it um, simplified. And I, I do probably want to test this taking out the Python generation script because it didn't bother to generate that. It just integrated and called out to Google Maps. And then it shows me the altitude, which I'm personally interested in, the scenic highlights. So it was able to produce exactly what I wanted. Um, in addition to being very happy and thrilled about that, uh, I want to also encourage you, if you're going to try this out on your own, to look at the thinking. Because one of the challenges for all of us learning how to work with LLMs is to um, see into the, the thought process. And I find this to be extremely valuable in iterating on my uh, prompt. So uh, I've used some other thinking models that um, before they were released as a tester. And this really improved my ability to write prompts that produce the results that I'm looking at. So um, now that this is publicly available, I'll post the prompt uh, in the uh, associated comments to this video. So you can try this out and you can, you can dive into this. I won't take you know, the whole time here to, to read this to you, but I would say you would really want to do this. So it shows you the plan. It shows you the step-by-step. -step, and then uh, it shows you which tools are being used. And then uh, it shows you literally what steps it's going through. See, it's telling me here, Python prog program initially planned, but might not be strictly necessary given the tools available, which is a terrific validation of, of uh, my intuition, <laughs> basically. So I could actually streamline the prompt. So that would be my next exercise. So again, it just goes through in really great detail every single step. Here it's talking about how it's performing the refinement to add the, the scenic route stops, um, and then regenerating the Google Maps links if the routes have changed. And then here's the result. So, it, you know, it's a new way of thinking. Uh, in, in the past, I would have, you know, maybe written an application um, uh, to call out to Google Maps. But now that I have this capability in Gemini um, to integrate with Google Maps, uh, YouTube, and Search, um, I'm going to really change uh, the ways that I interact with um, these key services. And um, I'm certainly going to utilize this thinking feature so that I can improve my ability to prompt. And I wanted to share this with all of you as well. So where will you go today? Have a great day. I'm Lynn Langett.